Hi guys, welcome back to another Victoria's Day. Um, now that we're in the fall season, I figured I would start giving you guys some ideas for Thanksgiving and Christmas or family get-togethers, Friendsgiving, you never know. And we're going to be making vegan side dishes today. We're going to be making some mashed potato, some macaroni and cheese, and um, some rice. Um, maybe along we'll make a part two and make some more side dishes. Or you guys just will see in my Thanksgiving vlog what we end up making that day. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's get right to it. Okay, we're going to get started with our mashed potato first. You'll need eight potatoes. I've already rinsed them. You're going to need some almond milk or dairy alternative. And then you're going to need garlic salt and parsley. You're going to want to go ahead and peel all your potatoes. After you have them all nice and peeled, you're going to want to grab a knife and just cut them in half. Go ahead and fill the whole pot with water. Just about until all your potatoes are nice and covered. I'm gonna place it on medium heat and let them boil. So once your mashed potatoes have been boiling for a while, you're just gonna wanna be stirring them to make sure they're all getting um, cooked equally. And then you want to leave it semi-covered, just be checking it, and once your potatoes are nice and soft, you'll be able to start with our next step. Okay guys, I've gone ahead and turned off the heat on our potatoes. When you can stick your whole fork in like this, and it just goes in so softly, like look at that, I'm just, it's going in and the potato's actually breaking apart, then you know your potatoes are nice and done, and you're going to want to drain the water. I've just drained my potatoes and while they're still hot you're gonna want to grab your potato smasher and just start smashing away and then you're gonna go on and grab your spatula here and like keeps rotating and smashing you're gonna wanna pour two cups of almond milk or the milk of your that you desire. And the potato is gonna absorb a lot of it, that's why I put two cups. And then we're just gonna give it a stir here. And then we're also gonna grab our potato smasher here and keep doing the same routine. Once you get to this consistency, then you're gonna wanna go ahead and add your garlic salt. You wanna add a lot of it because it's a lot of mashed potatoes. And your parsley. And if you still feel some chunks in there, then just keep smashing. Also guys, if you want that extra kick, like of cheesiness maybe for your mashed potatoes, and you can get your hands on this, then I definitely recommend it. It makes your potatoes have like that cheesy aftertaste. Now this is what you'll need for your mac and cheese. Um, these are vegan mac and cheese, the brand Daya. So it's really good. They have it in white, like white Alfredo sauce, I believe. No, not Alfredo sauce, white cheese. I'm not sure, but I will leave it in down in the description, the different ones they have. But this is really good and I normally make it and you'll need some oil. And I like to put these on the side and mix it together, you guys will see. But I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the microwave for firm vegetables, as my setting says. And we're gonna go ahead and get these started. If 
They normally come like this in a little packet. That's about how much mac and cheese you'll get, but they do expand. And then here is our cheese packet we're gonna set aside. We're gonna go ahead and add some water to this just to cover them up and let them boil. We're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of oil that helps it not stick. We're just gonna give it a little stir here. Leave them on medium heat. And let them boil. So once our mac and cheese has been boiling for a while, you're gonna want to uncover it halfway to evaporate some of the water so your pot doesn't overflow. And just be stirring and checking your macaronis until they're nice and tender to your liking. Ahead and drained our macaronis and then I have our vegetables here and we're just gonna dump them on top we're gonna give this a little stir and we're gonna go ahead and dump our cheese in And then we're going to give our mac and cheese a stir. Next, guys, I'm going to show you how simple it is to make rice that I like to make and that my family's made for forever. Um, I'm going to put on the screen now what type of rice this is. Okay, and then you'll need vegetable oil, salt, and adobo this is the adobo if you are not familiar with it normally i keep it in this little container that's why i want to show you guys the actual jar and yeah let's get to it so we actually have this little old aroma rice cooker and it does other things as well but we normally use it for rice it only has one setting cook and it normally comes with this little cup so it has measurements, but we've always gone with just, this is a cup, you know? So, we're going to go ahead and start making our rice here. So, I scoop. This is one cup for me. I normally do three cups. For the whole family. So, that's about how much you want. And now, there's a little controversy, but I rinsed my rice at least once. Just once, not not a whole bunch of times, just once. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So right now I fill up the whole rice. I start switching it around to rinse it out. Now that I've rinsed out my rice once, on the side of the pot there will be numbers. So I did three cups, but it has a number three, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the fourth line of water. Okay, and there we have it guys it's on the fourth line right before the number five okay we're gonna go ahead and add our oil there is really no measurements to this I really just eyeball it so that's our oil our salt and our edible we're gonna give it a little Stir here with our spoon, a rice spoon. Okay, we've plugged it in. We're gonna go ahead and cover it. And then right now, this is the warm setting and we're gonna push it down to cook. And that's it for our rice. It'll be done by itself. Once this goes back to warm, we're just gonna mix it and it'll be done. Hey guys, our mashed potatoes turned out great here and they're nice and soft. And our mac and cheese here also is done um, I just spruced it up with some veggies and I actually added some adobo at the end just to give it more flavoring. And then our rice here is also done. It's just plain white rice, but we, my whole family always makes this rice and it turns out great. So that is really all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy making these for your family and I will see you next Sunday. Have a victorious day. Bye.